It's here. College football in 2020. Central Arkansas, Austin P in Montgomery, Alabama. The very first game of the year. We are the show on week zero. First game to really kick off football. A must-see watch game. This Saturday, 8 p.m. on ESPN. On that bus, we're going to go to Montgomery, and we're about to go kick their tail. We're representing football players and football coaches across the country right now. You think back to a short, you know, five and a half months ago, we were getting pulled off the football field in spring practice. I'm taking the freaking toughest 65, 70 guys, and we're going to go win that game. You know, us as a program, it's kind of surreal to now get to this point, you know, being really hours away from the first football game of the season. Austin P is going to be just as hard as anybody. They got it for us. You know, I think it's a great opportunity to build the brand of football that we play here and to showcase that on national television. I mean, you can't really ask for much more. It's a great opportunity for both teams uh, to be able to show what they stand for, their school, their school name and their brand. So a big game for both teams. The trajectory of this game is a little bit ramped up. A formidable opponent in Austin P, and, and just the success that they had as a quarterfinalist team last year in the FCS playoffs. Also, the opportunity to be on national TV and the exposure it brings both programs. Uh, for us, an opportunity to continue to spread our national brand that we've started to create since we've been a Division I program. One time, one time. The UCA brand is being spread, but one thing the Bears are making sure of, they won't spread a virus. We're, we're doing everything the right way. We're, we're testing, we're going through uh, screening processes and, and, and temperature checks and, and social distancing and wearing our mask and doing all the things it's going to take to have a football season. Our guys have bought into that. You just got to focus on the controllables and control what we control and, and just go out there and, and play our game. Last year, UCA took down Austin P 24 to 16. Now the Bears and Governors go at it on an even bigger stage. These players remember that last win and the memories that came with it. My memory definitely was the interception. Most definitely was still in the game for, my, for me and my team. And also the big plays that Braylon threw down the field. I just think about the battle that we were in. You know, they're, they're a great football team. They have a great defense. They have a lot of great players. Um, and, you know, those are the games that you want to play in. It's just being a competitor. You want to always play the best. And, you know, they were one of, one of the better teams that we played. And, and that was fun. I enjoyed that. You know, just seeing Robert get that pick at the end was very comforting. So that's that's my last memory from it. But, but you know, it's again, we're, we're excited. Big news out of UCA in recent days. The Bears will play at North Dakota State national champs in the FCS eight of the last nine years on October the 3rd. When you love football just as much as most players, a lot of players in this country, you want the big games. So this is a big opportunity for everybody, everybody here at UCA, and everybody that loves football as well. So even the coaches, I know the coaches are ready for this game as well. So it's definitely a big opportunity. They're considered to be one of the best and, you know, getting that opportunity to play them, that's a big opportunity. But, you know, we got to handle business first, and when that comes up, we'll be prepared, we'll be ready to play. I have a lot of confidence in this team, I do. Um, it, it, I have not been shy about saying that, that I think this team has the potential. Again, we've got to go prove it. The potential to be one of the better teams I've been a part of here at UCA. So, you know, I knew we had the Austin P game, but then, you know, I didn't anticipate playing three FBS opponents, plus North Dakota State, who may be as good as anybody we're going to play. Uh, you know, but but I'm excited to go on this journey with these th this team and and look the 2020 version of this of, of UCA football could go down in the history books. Um, it already is just based on the year we've been through. Uh, but but again, what a great opportunity for competitors to go compete and play against some of the best teams across the country. Nick Walters, Fox 16.